Dr. Timothy Watson. And I'm a model slash actor who's playing a doctor. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not a real actor. We're here today to talk to you about proper etiquette when you visit your medical clinic. We'll start with what people wear. Too many times we come to the clinic and find people wearing short shorts, low cut tops. Mm. And take it from us people, it is not a pretty sight. Right, Bob? Sorry, Doc. Hakuna Matata, Bob. Hakuna Matata. Parents, out of respect for everyone, avoid wearing clothing that you would wear at a cocktail bar, the beach, or in a bedroom. Now that we know the appropriate way to dress, let's talk about the clinic itself. We really try to make this place look nice for you. We keep it clean. We have nice, colorful pictures on the walls. We have things that basically allow your children to feel like they're in a nice environment. Please supervise your children and make sure to not make a mess with food and drinks. Hey, hey, hey! There's no chewing gum in this office! But it's Tony Fruity! Whoa! Germs travel fast, so if your kid has a cough or a cold, always remember to ask for one of our complimentary mouth or nose masks. And we have plenty to choose from. White, blue, and my personal favorite, hockey. But you can choose any mask. Right, sweetie? Uh -huh. Where's the bathroom? Aw, oh, it's right down the way. And you know what? It's a lot quicker if you run. Take these. So remember, always ask for a mask. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Oops. Clean up on aisle seven! Being respectful means not being a nosy Nelly. Don't listen in on conversations if they're not about you. Furthermore, our staff have seen it all, so you just might regret what you hear. I noticed this big gaping hole right in the middle of it that was oozing the insides of it. Oh, go on. Logically, the best thing to do was quickly grab the skin, fold it over, and slide a tray under to stop all those big globs of fat. Oh, that's <gasps> awesome. What else? What else? <laughs> well, I just scooped up the whole mess, threw it on a plate, and dug in. Oh. A stuffed baked potato is my favorite. That makes two of us. Oh. I should have had you over. And now we move to reception area etiquette. Are you ready for this? Sometimes when you come to the clinic, you may find that you don't get exactly what you're looking for. If that happens, there's no need to try to solve the problem with foul language or expletives. What? Excuse me, ma'am. Is there a problem? Yes, there's a problem. You're a and she's a and I'm tired of this. You tell she tell and it's always the same thing over and over and over. So you need to let me know, okay? Because it's, it's not my way to what I'm just tired of. Well, while that foul mouth woman is inside the clinic ranting and raving and turning everyone's face a beautiful shade of rainbow, Dr. Watson and I have conveniently slipped outside to talk about parking lot etiquette. Right, Doc? That's right, Doc. We're here today to look at our beautiful parking lot and recognize that we go to a lot of effort to make sure that you have a pleasant experience in a clean parking lot. But we ask that you do the same. That's right. So remember, keep trash where it belongs, inside your car, or find a convenient place like your mother's purse. Hey, what kind of trash are we talking about? Oh, that's easy, Doc. We're talking about things like pampers and huggies. But that depends. <laughs> Wow, time travel's great. And cheesy. Hey, why don't we go check out a few patients, shall okay. we? Okay. All right, hey you guys, how are you? Hey Jaden, all right. Hey, can I get a picture of you guys? Oh, absolutely. Love taking pictures, hey buddy, how are you? So, what's Jaden here for today? Head lice, say cheese, cheese. <laughs> Well, that was nice and quick, and that's the way it should be. We here at the clinic know that your time is valuable. Heck, no long waits around here to see some doctor. We get in quick and fast. How long has that guy been here? 
Get this guy to a buffet, stat. We're here today to talk about a common problem in many medical clinics, and that is the diaper bomb. <laughs> People, if you have a soiled diaper, please do not place it directly in the trash. Ask for something to put it in before placing it in the trash. Baggy. You take the baggie. You open the baggie. You take the diaper bomb and you make sure that you carefully place the diaper into the baggie. Once the diaper is carefully placed into the baggie, zip the bag and then place it in the trash. Oh. Come on, baby, you know I love you. You know I do. You're the only one. One of the things we run into often in our clinics are people who think that it's okay to talk on cell phones while in exam rooms. Excuse me for a moment. May I borrow that? Yeah. Thank you. Hi, this is your boyfriend's doctor. He has to go now because you see, I have to zap off some really nasty warts. Hello. <gasps> Kids these days. Now let's talk about exam room etiquette. Please, parents, when visiting the clinic, only bring in the child who's sick, not your entire family tree. You got that, people. Parents, when coming to the clinic, make sure that if your child has a rash, you let the front desk receptionist know about it so we can make sure it's not contagious. Okay, Timmy, why don't we take a quick look at that rash? All right, let's just get this up, Timmy, and take a look at what you got here. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I've seen this before. Hold on. Mm, yeah, I know exactly what this is. That's pepperoni! Oh yeah! Is that thin crust? Who knows? They're as delicious, Timmy. So let's take a look at what we've learned today. I've learned to always wear proper attire when visiting my local medical clinic. And this bag doesn't go with these shoes. And I learned to bring along my teenage grandson to cover my ears in case someone has a potty mouth. What I learned is I should have probably told the doctor about head lice a little earlier. Yeah, I wouldn't have eaten before I came. What I learned is the difference between a rash and pepperoni. I learned that I need to listen to the needs of the patients that come in here. And stop pretending like we care. <laughs> What I learned is it's disrespectful to talk on the phone in the clinic. So now I text. Wow, that was fascinating, educational, and tiring. I just saw one and a half patients. I love being a doctor. You're not really a doctor. Yeah, well that never stopped you before. Say goodbye, doc. Goodbye, doc.
Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. We back to one. One more time. I'm sorry. Back to one. Yeah. <laughs> About another minute. No, just kidding. Uh, but remember, you're going to face that up. line up here. Oh, we haven't seen them yet. But remember, nobody look at the camera. Nobody look at the camera. So don't look at the camera. Am I looking at the right spot? Because I don't know where to look. There's yeah. like seven Hold places on. to look in yeah, this Yeah, that's lens. good. We're here today to talk to you about proper etiquette when you come to a medical clinic. Okay. Okay. And your lips were moving when he was talking, okay, like you sorry. were like... Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Timothy Watson. Hi, I'm Dr. Timothy Watson. So, when you look at my eyes, am I looking through you? Too many times, we come to the clinic and we find ourselves surprised by the fact that we have to do this again. Okay. One, two, three. Nah, it didn't show, it didn't read. Yeah. Didn't read at all. Uh, I know. And it's all, oh, see, it's, it's bad. Yeah, I know. It's well, dude, it's normal. not like an exact science. It's not like you look through the scope. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we rehearsed this. So what? Okay, well, let's just try it again. Oh, the roars! Oh, my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. I know, he's eating Play-Doh! <laughs> As a doctor, this is okay to eat, right? <laughs> Splat, splat, yeah. splat, 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 splat. I will be Do here it. and you, you just keep dipping yeah. and flicking and dip? dipping and flicking. We don't see your lips, so you can just flail. Just flail your arms. One, two, three. Ooh, nice. Flail your arms, flail your arms, flail your arms. They always keep telling me, and then your staff is, and they keep telling me. Flail your other arm. One, two, three. <laughs> Cut. Okay. Did we get it? Yeah. Yeah, we got it. And we're ready and reaction. Cut. We got it. Yeah, that was good. That was good. All right. Now, <laughs> we got something on my eyes. Okay. Tim, Cut. What keeps bumping? Camera speed. Machine 40, take three. It's ripe. <laughs> Are you rolling? Yes. Is it like getting this thing? No, it's fine. No, We're talking. It's... Don't worry about it. Oh! <laughs> 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 I want a new pediatrician. <laughs> you got that, people. Yeah, oh, <laughs> He was so caught up in the riveting. I was watching the actual riveting. You were riveting, Christopher. 